On the cruise off, Captain Jim Hubbard and the crew are bringing in their first black cod set. Okay, through this door is our main process deck. Here, as the fish are pulled in, they're instantly processed. This is black cod fishing. While Kevin mans the roller, Mike heads the fish for their succulent meat, also called tips. Cod tips, break that part open. You got that little piece of meat right there. The best part of the cod. Once they head the fish, they scrape and clean the guts and bloodline, then rinse them out. That'll be tasty. They sort the fish by species and size. That one's about eight and a half, nine pounds. Those are the ones we want. The biggest fish we ever had was uh, 44 pounds. That was down in Southeast Alaska. They're fully frozen within seven hours of being caught. Yeah, they're pretty much still wiggling when you get put them in the pans. It doesn't get any better than this, really. But the cruise off has also pulled up quite a bit of a bycatch in the form of slope rockfish. These right here are uh, thorny heads, or idiot fish, as we like to call them. They'll uh, ruin your day if you get spined by them. They got poison in their spines. Onshore processors pay a meager $1 a pound for unprocessed thorny heads. But Jim can sell processed fish at up to $4 a pound wholesale. The extra work means more money for the crew. One of these things you know it. Instantly. Poison in the tip. Here, try one. Longliners take an active approach to prevent another type of common bycatch, seabirds. Some of these birds are endangered and can get caught on longline hooks as they lunge for bait. This hangs over top the ground line as it's going out, and it keeps the birds from coming down and trying to grab bait off the hooks. It's a very effective mechanism, and it does a great job of uh, keeping the birds out. 